This lesson is about the jazz ride cymbal, and the jazz ride cymbal pattern is distinct for each individual, but the quarter note pulse is the same in every individual and in every style of music. So in jazz, we communicate the time primarily from the ride cymbal, playing quarter notes. And since this is kind of static, we add what we call the skip note, which puts a little dance in the cymbal pattern. And the skip note sounds like this. Adding the skip note sounds like this. If you're lucky enough to take a lesson from one of the very old drum teachers like Papa Joe Jones, he would teach you to play the ride cymbal and he might draw on your cymbal and he might with a pencil say you play beat one here and you play beat two here and back to the one, two, a three, four, a one and so it would look like this. of a counterclockwise circle and as the tempo would get faster that circle would get a little smaller but the basic movement is designed to put just a little bit of weight a little bit of accent on the beats two and four one two Now, notice where I'm playing on the cymbal, playing kind of in this area. And cymbals have different textures, different timbres in the different regions. And you want to find the spot where you get a clear woody sound with all of the overtones flowering underneath. So I want a definite tick, but I want those tick sounds to be connected by the sustain and the overtones of the cymbal. And when I play here, you hear a nice balance between the wood and the, the whole rainforest of sounds inside the cymbal. If I play a little closer to the edge, the sound gets kind of muddy. If I play closer to the bell, the sound gets a little bit strange as well. But the sweet spot is one third of the way, usually from the edge to the bell. So in this area. And I think you can clearly hear that playing in different parts of the cymbal makes the, the flow of things um, nicer. And it's nicest when it's in. Now the spacing of that skip note, the note that gives the dance to things, is generally in a a triplet subdivision. So if we go back to the slower tempo and just play quarter notes, but think of the triplet subdivision, that gives a good idea of where the skip note should live. So when I'm playing one, two, three, four, but thinking one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, One, two, three, two. 
One trip foot, two trip foot, three trip foot, four trip foot, one trip foot, two trip foot, three trip foot, four trip foot, one trip foot, two trip foot, three trip foot, four trip foot, one trip foot, two trip foot, three trip foot, four trip foot, one. The phrasing is uh, unique for each individual, but this type of area of thinking of the triplet subdivision works in almost every musical setting and is a great uh, starting point for getting your ride cymbal playing together.